this girl had broken her finger, and her grandfather was about to cut off the same finger from all six of her sisters. He first numbed the girls, then sterilized the kitchen knife with gas, then set the knife on the girl's finger. Then, it turns out that the seven of them are twins, but can only live under one shared identity, with one going out and the others having to hide in the house. Once the presence of the others is discovered, they will be greeted with full arrest and finally sent into a cold hibernation chamber for an endless long sleep. In the future, the world's resources will be depleted, the population will skyrocket, and the globe will be in a food crisis. Scientists have researched a special genetically modified crop. Although the food problem has been alleviated, there is a problem with human genetics, as these genetically modified foods can dramatically increase the chances of pregnant women having multiples. A biology doctor named Dr. Carmen came up with the idea by enacting birth control laws and creating the Population Authority, which strictly enforces the one-child system by force, with extra children being forcibly transferred to the Authority for Cryonic Dormancy. Unless the population crisis is lifted, they will be locked up forever. Even if there is a day when they're released, it is estimated that it will be hundreds of years later, when their relatives will be long gone. Just thinking about it makes people scared. In reality, people have a hard time. Everyone must wear a bracelet. Daily life is strictly controlled. In and out of all kinds of places have to stand their identity. The unlucky seven sisters were born at the wrong time. Their mother died in childbirth. Their father is nowhere to be found. And there is only an elderly grandfather left. So he decided to hide the children and raise them alone. Years passed and the children grew up. The first sister's name was Monday. And so on down the list, which was the name grandpa gave them, saying, it was to be memorable. According to their corresponding names, Monday went out on Monday, Tuesday went out on Tuesday, and so on. One of the things Grandpa would do every day was to tell the seven sisters never to go out at the same time. Every evening, they also had to watch together what the one who went out today saw and heard. It was in this way that the seven sisters were able to share a single identity. Grandpa also specially made a secret door. As long as the whistle is blown, they must immediately hide in the secret door, not to make a sound. In case the local Local authority comes to the door for a surprise inspection. But it is the nature of children to be playful. Finally, someone couldn't help herself and sneak out to play skateboarding today. Thursday, and accidentally broke a finger. Grandpa, to save the seven sisters, decisively cuts off the other sisters' fingers in the same place, listens to the screams, looks at all the pain in the blink of an eye. More than 20 years have passed. Grandpa has long since passed away. The seven sisters with their mothers named Karen, taking turns to work in a bank. As always, they abided by Grandpa's teachings, reviewing the day's events together every day and living carefully. But the accident comes after all. 